the kids is because getting Morgan's case accomplished helps transgender people nationally. Getting a, an authoritative body and also an insurance provider by default to voluntarily, voluntarily pay for the sex reassignment of a child would set precedent in foster care, but would also set precedent in the medical field and insurance field going forward. So I think for all of our qualms and, and, and goals in terms of what we need done with MIPD and civil disobedience on everyone from discrimination in schools and public issues, HIV policy prevention, I think that the attention that we will get by focusing one of our first initiatives around children, transgender children, will get the best public and national media coverage that we can hope for. And I also think that, this is what we will hear me, letting me lead the way in this, attracting attention with the press, the same exact attention that is built in from the first place. The people that kind of wanted to stay tuned in that case, we will catapult ourselves very quickly. And this is the last bit of it. This is a warning, ladies and gentlemen. It's about to get real hot real fast. So um, I'm gonna open the floor to just people to say words predominantly about people, elders that move them. They were more than welcome to say whatever moves them. Um, we will for the last 30 minutes of it, we're not even approaching that, organize it to committees that will work later. I want to be very clear.